Today we're going to put the Robrock S6 Max V through my full floor plan test. We're going to see how long it takes, how good it cleans, how the, well the map is made, how easy it is to set up the rooms, and pretty much everything from this one test. Then later, of course, I'll take this down to my testing room, do the pickup test. Uh, this should be a very good robot for the gauntlet, which is where I put down obstacles and it has to go around them without getting caught on like shoelaces or charging cables. And we'll see how many times it airs out and compare it to the other robots that have done that test. Same with the pickup test. I think this is probably going to be one of the best ones as far as the amount of debris it picks up, but we'll do that in future videos. So if you're into robot vacuums, I would love for you to join this channel. I do tons of robot vacuum reviews, and I probably currently have about 30 robot vacuums. So lots of content on this channel, lots of information, and I would love for you to join. So let's go ahead and check out the floor plan and the mess I made. So first we have our, my office area. I throw down a little bit of fruity pebbles just to see how well it cleans. And in this test, this is the first time I'm going to start doing this. Just a little pile of fruity pebbles on carpet, and then a pile on hard floor too, just to see what the robot does, see if it spreads it out everywhere, or if it's able to actually tackle one little pile. So going over to my entryway, or foyer, it's a little den. As you can see some fruity pebbles. And once this guy's done cleaning, we'll go back through this. We'll see exactly what it picked up. A little trail of fruity pebbles in the living room. Some blue kinetic sand that my son dropped, which is fine. We'll see if it can pick it up. Some more fruity pebbles there. And then my dining room area. Just throw down a little bit here and there. And then after this test, we'll see if it's spread it around or if it actually picked them all up. As well as my entryway here, laundry room, and bathroom. Back through to the office. So I just did this exact test with the Roborock S7. At the end of this video, I'll also tell you how long the S7 took and we'll compare it to how long this S6 Max V took. And we'll be putting this through all the different tests. Um, I also have the S4 Max, I also have the S5, and later we'll compare all the Roborocks and we'll pick the winner on which one is actually the best overall for the value. So I have not ran this guy at all yet. So I run him on normal suction power, but carpet boost is on. So let's go ahead and send them out. Starting to clean. Sneak peek real quick of an upcoming test as well. For Scenic M8. I'll be doing that test to this guy as well. Having issues with this though, I cannot get it to connect to my Wi-Fi no matter what I do. The Roborock connected instantly, that TAC life I previously recorded, you know, connected to my Wi-Fi instantly, so. Not sure what's going on with that for Scenic, but hopefully I'll get that figured out and we can have another video going on that guy. Alright, I'm going to let this guy go for a little bit, start the testing. And I'm going to try to catch it when it runs over these piles just to see what it does. And once again, afterwards, we'll check out the map and the app and we'll see how long it took and compared it to the S7. All right, here's one of the newest things and the only robot I've ever owned that utilizes the cameras. And as you can see, it shows exactly what it's seeing. And that's a pretty cool feature to have. You can actually, if you're away from your house, you can actually tell it to just leave the dock, send it to a specific room, and you can see what's going on in that room, which could be really good if you have pets and you want to check up on, on them. And the quality actually seems pretty good. I thought this was going to be terrible quality, but the picture quality is actually not that bad. 
I must say it's pretty cool. And as you can see on the screen, you can completely control it. And you can even make a message. Let's see what that is. Oh, wow. You can even uh, tell it to say something. That's pretty cool. And then you can, of course, have the map here, and it'll go exactly where you tell it to go with the just simply pushing on what room you want to do. And that's pretty cool. Well, I'll do a full video on just the camera on a separate video, but I just want to show you that really quick. And I'll try to keep this on for whenever it runs over that big pile. It's got a really wide angle too, which is pretty cool. Wow, that's that really got up that entire pile almost. Pretty nice. Wow, there you go guys. That actually did really good with that. I thought it was going to spread it around everywhere, but it barely spread around any of that big pile, so pretty impressive. It's been going for a while now guys, and it only has this little area left to do, and then we'll be done, and then we'll look at the map and stuff. A couple of new features on the map that I just saw that I've never seen on a robot vacuum before. We'll get into that in just a minute, and it's really cool. I'll let this guy finish and then we'll go around the house see how well it did and we'll look at the app and stuff like that be back all right guys the roborock s6 max v is done took 89 minutes total for my entire floor plan 34 percent battery life left which is fantastic it's one thing i love about the roborock they were smart and put a really big battery in these and it shows just how good they are as most of you know, I got the Roomba i6 Plus, I got the S9 Plus. Great vacuums, but they all have to go back and recharge and then come back out and finish the job. And I just don't like that. I'd, I'd prefer just to have a bigger battery and get the job done quickly and be done for the day. Anyways, this is the basically perfect map that it made. And as you can see, there's a few little icons on this map. This is something I've never dealt with. And this is the obstacle avoidance system and the cameras, which is really, really cool. Uh, as you can see on the left here, that's a shoe. I actually forgot that was laying on the floor in there. And if you click on it, it actually takes a picture of it and tells you what it thinks it is. And sure enough, that's exactly what it is in there. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, something up here, the cones, I'm not sure what they are. It's just some something it was trying to avoid. Let's click on those and just see what it thinks it may have seen. Unknown item. And for some reason, it picked up my uh, dining room table leg. Not a big deal because it wouldn't have done anything around that anyways. Over here, uh, I have a little lamp there. And for some reason, it avoided that, thinking it was maybe another shoe or something. And then down here... I thought this was a power strip, which it did not get correct, which is not a big deal if it misses what it is. But this is just the bottom of a vacuum that I have in there. But it's all things that it wanted to avoid because it thought it was something else. And I think that's really cool how it just throws that on the map. I also love the fact that you can watch the video. And I'll do a separate video just based on the video portion of this robot because I think it's pretty cool and I think a lot of you guys will too. But the, the app is absolutely fantastic. The, the divisions of my house is perfect. Like the center wall here, that black in the very middle, that divides up my entire house. Over here, you got the couches, you have my coffee table, uh, the other big couch. It, it's just perfect. So, so far, this is my first test with this S6 Max V. And the app is super clean. It just, it just did a perfect job. No errors whatsoever. 89 minutes for a pretty decent sized floor plan. And I just couldn't be happier. This is what I want from a robot vacuum. So props to them on this guy. 
All right, Roborock S6 Max V is done with my main floor plan, and I'm very happy with it so far. Let's take a look at the job it did. And I just showed you the map and how long it took and everything like that. And uh, it looks fantastic in here. There's a little bit of fruity pebbles here and there, but most of them tend to leave a couple of them here and there. Not that big of a deal. You already saw it ran over that pile very nicely. It kicked out two little pieces there. And I thought it was going to leave a much bigger mess than just that. Come over here, there's a couple fruity pebbles. Once again, I don't think I've had a single robot pick up every single one because it's going to flick around a little bit here and there. A couple more in here. Actually kind of surprised those are in there, but once again, not a huge deal. It would definitely get it on its next run. Then walking in here. One right there. But for the amount I threw down, it did it did really good. There's pretty pebbles everywhere in here. Did leave a couple there. Now onto the hard surface. Hard surface actually looks really good. I don't see any fruity pebbles yet. Yeah, I'd say the hard surface, it actually just did the best I've seen in a, in a while. That's a really good job on the hard. And then went down in here, and this is that shoe that I recognized that I forgot was even down. Of course, the laces aren't laying out, but it's cool that it at least recognized it. In the gauntlet test I'll be running probably in the next week or so, I'll have fake dog poop and we'll see if it recognizes that. And I have an overhead shot of it cleaning and we'll see if it runs into it at all. Because that's a big thing. A lot of people have dogs and they poop in the house and they come home and it's smeared throughout their entire house. That would be a nightmare. I currently don't have any pets so I don't have to worry about that, but if I did I would need and want the best obstacle avoidance vacuum on the market. Alright guys, so far, excellent robot. I paid $5.50 for this about a month ago on Amazon. It's back up unfortunately to its normal price. But for $5.50, I love it so far. First test, yes. But it kind of made me forget about my Roborock S5, which has been a fantastic robot vacuum for the past year and a half, two years. But I'm very glad to upgrade. I feel like this one's just overall better. It has more power. The battery is probably going to be a little bit better overall. And the app on the map is just so much cleaner than the S5 has. So first initial impressions, awesome robot. I'm really going to enjoy this. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did at all, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And I will see you guys in the next one.